Aylesbury's top stories in and around Aylesbury on Aylesbury News. £1.1 million extra for Bucks Roads from Government Buckinghamshire is getting over £1 million from the Government for roads. They have announced the £1.187 million today. It will be used to keep an eye on road surfaces but also for repairs. This is on top of the £75 million in Government funding already given to the councils from the Pothole Action Fund this year as well as the additional 46 million boost from highways authorities announced just before Christmas around 7 million potholes will be filled due to this money announced in the 2016 budget Transport Secretary Chris Graylin said people rely on good roads to get to work and to see friends and family we have seen an unusually prolonged spell of freezing weather which has caused damage to our local roads we are giving councils even more funding to help repair these roads so all road users can enjoy their journeys without having to dodge potholes already 2.5 2.5 million has been allocated to Devon County Council to quickly repair the A379 which was badly damaged by Storm Emma. The government is also investing more than £900,000 in innovation using connected vehicles to help councils more efficiently manage and plan maintenance work. These trials will ultimately help provide councils with data to enable them to repair potholes before they occur as well as maintaining their other assets more efficiently as part of their asset management plans. This will help prevent further potholes and other road defects occurring over time. Blackpool Council has been given £100,000 to lead on the digital inspectors scheme with eight councils. This will see high definition cameras mounted over vehicles to collect data on roads and paths conditions, which is then analyzed by computers to highlight where roads are deteriorating. The city of York will also get 72,000 pounds to use a smaller system to build on its pothole spotter trial. Transport for the West Midlands, West Sussex County Council, Buckinghamshire County Council, Croydon Council and Southampton City Council have also been awarded funding for road condition monitoring inspections innovations. Swindon Borough Council will trial the use of smartphone sensors to collect road conditions and Essex County Council will work with Daimler to use information collected by its cars. Derby City Council and Oxfordshire Council County Council will use connected vehicles to collect data on the condition of the road's signs. Westminster City Council will trial the use of cameras to provide real-time updates so people can locate parking spaces easier. The department is also providing £30,000 to Association of Directors of Environment, Economy, Planning and Transport ADEPT to work on technological and initiative improvements to further proof the local road network. This fund is on top of the record £6 billion the government is providing local authorities between 2015 and 2021 to maintain the and improve their roads. The majority of illegal drugs in Aylesbury come from outside bucks. Aylesbury Superintendent Tim Metcroft says the majority of illegal drugs in the town have come from outside of Bucks. 
We see drugs coming into Aylesbury from Birmingham, across from Luton, and of course up from London. Some of it's home grown in the form of cannabis, but county lines is a very live issue for us. As soon as we hear about it, we address it straight away. Police here carry out 15 drug warrants since December, recovering heroin, crack cocaine and cannabis. Tim gave this appeal to the public. What's really helpful is members of our community, if you suspect something, give us a call. Most of that information upon which we act has come from the community. It is really important that we know about it. If we know about it, we can do something about it. Ellsbury's David Bowie statue vandalised. The statue of David Bowie in Owlsbury has been vandalised. It was only unveiled on Sunday afternoon, but overnight graffiti has been sprayed over the sculpture. The graffiti says, Feed the Homeless First and RIPDB. The memorial has been controversial, but hundreds turned out at the weekend for the big unveiling event. No public money was used to pay for the memorial but it all came from a crowdfunding campaign which attracted donations from across the world yet all the money for this statue was donated by crowdfunding which was done by david stops and his wife who put a lot of hard work into this and if people did their homework they would find out that there was no money from the council or the government to help with this statue but some mindless thug seems to think we've spent government money on a statue and thought, ah, let's deface this memorial, which is now going to cost the taxpayers money for the police to investigate it. This is a disgrace. Yesterday, there was remarks all over the Owlsbury Grapevine, people saying we should have been feeding the homeless and filling in potholes with the money they wasted on the statue. But, like I said, this was fund raised by a crowd fund raiser. If you want to help the poor, the homeless, then give up some of your time to go out and help them. And if you're that passionate about potholes, create a crowd fund event to get them filled in, to raise the money and get them filled in. But why vandalise other people's pieces of art and now having to pay taxpayers money for the police to investigate and it's going to cost money to get it cleaned up as well? faultless and ridiculous. I hope you get caught and taken to court and ordered to clean the graffiti up and let the public know when so everybody can come up and stare at you and make you feel ashamed. Poor David Stops and Andrew Sinclair must be feeling awful about this after all the hard work they put into it and I do hope they catch the people who have done this and quick and have justice done. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and leave comments below. Ooh, don't forget to hit that like button and share our videos. Thank you.